because they know they have to leave a legacy. Yeah. Something behind. Oh, I got a good amen on my Y'all work with me, okay? Amen. So, legacy is in the Hebrew the word chalek. C H E L E Q. You can go home and study for yourself because I've already given a status. So, that word is heritage, succession, inheritance. The, this is a word we know, estate. And, and this is another translation for legacy. What will endure? Mm -hmm. Amen. What will endure? Legacy, if you open up the Bible, you will not find the word legacy. It's translated in other words in the Bible, such as inheritance, heritage, my favorite one, the blessing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's translated to bestow upon, to bestow upon. Uh, the, the last one is birthright. Birthright. Now listen to this quote. We're going to go to Genesis 13 and 2. Now listen, let's look at this. Listen to this quote. The Bible re references money and possessions 2,350 times. That's more than Jesus talking about love, heaven, and hell combined. Jesus. So why is this is, why is this so important to God? Because your wealth establishes God's company, which is what? Legacy. Wow. It's legacy. Yes, the, God told the children of Israel, the purpose of your wealth is to establish God's company. Yes. That's old covenant. What is it called in the new covenant? The kingdom of God. Amen. Because that's what Jesus came to preach. Jesus came out of, from John the Baptist, after John the Baptist baptized Jesus, Jesus comes out of the water, what happens? The Holy Spirit comes on Jesus as an anointing in the form of what? A dove. The anointing came on Jesus, and what was the next words he said? He came to preach the gospel of what? The kingdom. Yes. So the old, uh, under the old covenant is called a covenant, in the new is called the kingdom. Yes. So then what does they both represent? Power and influence. Yes. If you have no money, no one is listening to you. The Bible says a poor man, a poor man's words are despised. Yes. Anybody listen to a poor person? Yeah. Nobody. Nobody at all. So now let's look at Genesis 13 2. Abram, Jesus' uh, name was translated to Abraham. Abram was what? Very, Very rich. rich. Notice he was rich. So let me let me slow down. There are two sides of this message, just like there are two sides of this covenant. One is Abraham. He represents everything in the natural. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you have the new covenant. Who? Jesus Christ. He represents everything spiritual. But you need both. You have access to two worlds. You already know you have access to the natural world, right? Yes, okay. I feel a little bit still, so let me try. Let me go ahead. Let me show you how you have access into two worlds. Yes, sir. When Jesus, first of all, Satan is the God of what? This world. Yes. So that when, when and he lost, uh, he gained the world from who? Adam. Adam. When Adam sinned in the garden, he transferred all power and rights to the devil when he sinned against God. Mm -hmm. And then God kicked him out of the garden. He said, well, yeah. So marriage folks, get it out together. Amen. 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 That was, Amen. That was cool. yes. And so now, when Jesus comes on the scene, after he was baptized by John the Baptist, the dove came upon him. Now, what was it they say? He was tempted in the wilderness for how many days? Forty days. Yeah. Now, after the temptation, the devil comes to him at Jesus' greatest, weakest point in the physical, mm -hmm. his greatest, weakest point, and he tempts him and tests him with what? The kingdoms of what? This world. Yeah. All these kingdoms will I give to you, Jesus, yeah. if you what? Bow down. So clearly, Satan has the authority over the kingdom, kingdoms of what? This world. So now, what did Jesus have to do? A greater anointing, mm -hmm. a greater power had to come from heaven. The kingdom of heaven. Pray that the kingdom of heaven will come where? On yeah. earth. So that the God, Jesus, the anointed one, who has the anointed kingdom on him, mm -hmm. is greater than the kingdoms of this world. So what did Jesus tell say? I'm not going to take what you got to offer. You can't tell me I am God. And only can only worship my God. Spirit and the truth, right? Yeah. So now he overcomes the Satan and his demonic force of the spirit with the kingdoms of this world. So now Jesus comes with a great kingdom, a great inheritance, a greater power. Greater. Mm -hmm. That's why he's called the kingdom of light. Yeah. And 
and the light overcomes the kingdom of what? Darkness. Darkness. Satan and the kingdom of this world. And darkness comprehended not the light of Christ. Yes. So now, we are the light of the world. And now, we are the star of the earth. Yes. Are y'all with me? Yes. I'm to let you know that there's something being transferred yes. from Jesus to you yes. called the kingdom of God. Yes. Now, let me show you the importance of it. So now, clearly you see Abraham was rich and wealthy. Let's look at Galatians 3 and 29. Let's go this right. Galatians 3 and 29. And if you are Christ, he's opening up. And if you are Christ, if, that means are you born again? So the answer is what? Yes. Yes. So if you are in Christ, what's that next word? Then you are what? Abraham's seed. Now stop. Very clearly, he lets you know that you're in covenant. So clearly, based on that, something has been transferred to you. Amen. It's called a legacy. Uh-huh. Now, what was transferred? Silver, gold, land, property, wealth. That's just on the natural side. Yes. Because we are now in Christ, what? Abraham seed. Uh-huh. Now, watch the rest. And heirs according to the promise. Now, that's the spiritual side. What was the promise to Abraham? That you will be the father of many nations. I will bless those that bless you, Abraham. I will curse those that curse you. Now, since I'm the seed of Abraham, nobody can curse me. Everywhere I go, wherever my foot shall tread is mine. Everywhere I go, everything about my life is is, is expanding, growing, and increasing because I am the seed of Abraham. Because I got saved, there was a legacy transferred from Abraham to me. From Jesus to me. Glory. The, so pass the Bible in my head. Pass the Bible in my feet. Because you don't know who you are. All right. If I got into an accident, God forbid, if I got into an accident, I have, I have insurance on my car. So I don't get out the car and pass out. Oh my God. What are we going to do? The car is torn. No, no, cool. Because I know my hands. Yes. Amen. I know my rights. Yes. I know I'm covered. Yes. All right now. I don't stress out. That's right. Because I know who I am. Absolutely. Once you find out in Christ, yes. Yes. once you find out in Christ who you are, watch this say, no more fear. Amen. No more. I don't have to be afraid of life. No. I don't have to be afraid of not being happy married or being broke or struggling. No. Because I am the seed About of Abraham. Abraham. Yes, I am. And when you understand it, people of God, nothing can stop you. Let's look at Malachi 4 and 5. Now, let me show it to you. Let me show you how the old covenant connects to the new covenant. Because you've got to know you have a legacy. Mm-hmm. You have a legacy effect. Yes, let me try this one. Let's use the, 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 the uh, let's, let's use Johnson. That's just a generic name. Let's use Johnson. And let's say the Johnsons are known for alcoholism. Uh-huh. Grandpa drinks. Son drinks. Uh-huh. Son drinks. Grandson drinks. So now, in the Johnson family, we have a legacy of alcoholics. Because everybody in the Johnson family drinks. All right, let's take it to the other side. Let's use the Jenkins family. The Jenkins family are known to be educators. Everybody in the Jenkins family is going to college. It's no kids, but it's body. Everybody in the Jenkins family goes to college and graduate with honors. Because somebody left a legacy. See, faith works the same way. Yeah. Faith works good on that. That's right. I, I, I was raised up in a home of physical abuse. Mm-hmm. Me, me first. Okay. My grandfather beat his wife. Oh. And it was common practice in, in my family. You know, the, 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 the brothers, shit, they win. That was just the way it was. Yeah. Just saying. I feel a little preaching right there. But calm down. Calm down. <laughs> my, my uncles, I had my father, two of them beat their wife. My dad used to beat my mom. Yeah. But then they left the legs. Yes, so somebody in the family yeah. has to make a decision yeah, 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 yeah. to submit to the authority of God's word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can change and shift yeah. the legs. Yes. Let me show you how God did. God set himself under the authority of his word. Then Jesus set himself under God. I only go what my father tells me to go. I only do what my father tells me to do. I only say what my father tells me to say. And 
then the Holy Spirit submits to who? Jesus. Jesus. And, and, and the Holy Spirit says, I'm going to only express what Jesus has said to me. Jesus said right this. I, I will send another comforter like, just like myself. Yeah. The comforter is what? The Holy Ghost. Yes. And he will only tell the things I tell him to say. Uh -huh. So the Holy Spirit submits to Jesus. Now that's the God. Yes. Now what's the next person? Man. Come on. Man. And when a man does not know who he is, because clearly something is transferred. Yeah. Something is transferred from yeah. the word yeah. to God. Yeah. Yeah. That's why God would say, like being like what? Yeah. Yeah. Because he's from the form. Yeah. Yeah. Then, then the, then the, 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 the uh, anointing of this grace is transferred to Jesus. Jesus can speak the last and tell him to come forth. Uh -huh. Jesus can speak the winds and waves and they obey him. Yeah. Yeah. The Holy Spirit can tell Jesus to come out of the grave. Yeah. 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 Now there's the man. Uh -huh. So the man has to do the same thing that God did, that Jesus did, and that the Holy Spirit does. The man has to do the same thing. As long as we're under authority, doing and saying what we should do and say, then the authority flows from the hand. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And then after the man, there's the wife. The man comes first. Absolutely. And the, and the ladies, chill out. Just yeah. listen to it. Yes. <laughs> because if we're going to work this the kingdom of God kind of way, yeah. you need Abraham in place. Yes. 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 Amen. Yes. That's why Sarah submitted and called Abraham Lord. Yes. Because she understood yes. as a kingdom of yes. Yes. how this thing works. Yes. Yes. There's a legacy that transferred from dads to sons. Notice in the Bible, it's not mothers to daughters. Yes. It's always son. Jesus had to be a male. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right now. My goodness, that's kingdom. Abraham, before he died, called his sons and transferred the blessing in heaven. They didn't sign a contract. No. They declared it by word. Isaac transferred it to Jacob. Uh -huh. Jacob transferred the blessing, the inheritance, the legacy to the 12 tribes of Israel. Yes, right. Why do you think, listen, why do you think they fight Israel? Now, Israel, just in the natural, is a very small, tiny country. Uh -huh. Why are all the uh, Arabians and all the other folks, uh, the Egyptians, why is everybody fight Israel? Yeah, yeah. When the country is this small? Right, right. Because of the blessing. Yeah. Wow. Man. Just in the natural, you need to understand that. Yes. Now let's go into the realm of the spirit, and it becomes greater. That the inheritance of the legacy you got to have. Yes. Let me give you a little search. Mm -hmm. I ministered to a family. Okay. And then that this lesson was inspired by this particular family okay. that I ministered to. Okay. So there was a, 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 a division between the father and the son. Okay. So by the time I prayed for him and went through all the, uh, the stuff we ministered to this family and, and, and get it, getting it restored, then the Lord gives me a vision. Of his hand. Okay. And he says to me, it's, the issue is not with the father, and the issue is not with the son. The issue is with the children. Wow. Because the enemy is in the realm of the spirit where you can see distance. Wow. See, in the natural world, my glasses and my eyes can only go so far. Yes. But in the realm of the spirit, you can see age. Because wow. yes. yes. mm. yes. it takes you to different levels and different realms in God. Yes. Okay? Yes. So now, the issue. It's not the, dis the difference between dad and son coming against each other. The issue is legacy. God is trying to reach the children because there's a calling on two of the sons. Yeah. Great son. But because we're divided amongst each other, we don't know we're being distracted. Yeah. Because the enemy don't want you to see where you are and where you're going. The issue is not the money. The issue is legacy. Yeah. Legacy of what? Faith. Because yeah. you can't leave money for food. No, 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 don't do it. You don't leave your wealth to somebody who's not in covenant. What, okay, here it is. What's the purpose of your wealth to establish God's covenant? If you have not taught and trained your children, the purpose and the value of money is about the kingdom of God. See, Jesus, Jesus said like this. Here it is, here it is, the court. I came, Jesus, not to be wealthy, not to be rich, not to be famous, not to be popular. Not, not, not to be the number one on Facebook and YouTube and all this stuff we got going on in the world. Right. What did he say? I came that you might have life and have it more abundant. I came to seek and save that.
that what you saw? Those two rings. Yes. One spiritual, one spiritual. Mm -hmm. I came that you might have life and have what? More abundant, natural. And the seed of Abraham. Everything in my life worked. I got plenty of money. I'm happy, man. I got a beautiful home. I got car. I got, I got cash and bacon on hand. I got gold and silver, too. I got some gold in the, in the house in the safe. I got some gold, too. Y'all can't go play. But watch this. But I also came spiritually. Yes. To seek and to save that which is lost. Jesus had, Jesus had natural wealth. Mm -hmm. Okay, Pastor, how do you know Jesus had natural wealth? Because when he died, they shot dice for his robe. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know he could have been a poor broke man under the bridge. Ain't nobody shooting dice trying to get off a nasty man's clothes who was poor and broke and didn't have nothing. Amen. Amen. Let me prove to you how Jesus was wealthy. Jesus was the firstborn of Joseph and, and uh, Mary. Right. Joseph was what? A carpenter. Right. Jesus was called a carpenter's son. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. And when Jesus went into full-time ministry at the age of 30, he transferred the business over to his half-brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. He had seven of them. He just got to know the history. That's right. That's right. Because he went into full-time ministry. And he already had the money. Right. How do you know he had the money? He was wealthy. Because when he went to 12 disciples, he went to them and told them, come follow me. They left their businesses and left their families, dropped everything to follow a group man. No way to happen. They knew he had wealth. Yes. Yes. They knew he had a, a, an anointing and a call on his life. But the purpose of it was to leave a spiritual legacy. Yes. That's why Jesus said it like this. But only well, he said, my peace. Because yeah. it's the one you're coming in the right. Yeah. Yeah. My peace, I leave to you. Yeah. Not as the world gives, but as I give. Not only did he leave peace, uh, not only did he leave peace, he left wealth. Not only did he leave wealth, he, he left humility. He left love. He left peace. He left all these things for you so you can enjoy your life. The blessing in heaven of the Lord what makes rich and adds no sorrow. You can have the wealth and enjoy your life. You can have the wealth and enjoy the church. You can have the wealth and enjoy your family and give to mission. Yeah. 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 The whole purpose of your wealth, Abraham, is to establish God's covenant. But then when you die, leave an inheritance, not only wealth, but of faith. Yes. Wow. So that when you leave it to your children, they're going to continue to build God's kingdom. Yes. All right, let's take a look at it. Malachi 4 and 5. Did I read it? No. no. Behold, is it there? Mm -hmm. Well, y'all watch this. Behold, I will send to you Elijah the prophet. Who is that in the new covenant? John the Baptist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll prove it to you. I'll prove it to you. Just wait. Before the coming of that great and dreadful day, this is the prophet 750 years before Jesus shows up. What is the great and dreadful day? Jesus coming with the kingdom of God on earth to destroy the kingdoms of this world. Yeah. Now Satan is shaking in his shoe. Yes. Because a greater kingdom just showed up. Yeah. And what's the purpose of this prophet? To turn the hearts of the fathers to his children. Don't you know that's the thing that's been happening in our world today? The fathers have been taken out of their homes. Yes. The fathers have left their wives for, for other women and uh, drugs and alcohol or whatever, a business or whatever. And when you take the most damnable thing in the church is divorce. Oh, no. Because you have taken the father out of the house and you left the wife and the kids uncovered. Yeah. Now we got daughters that's lesbians. Yeah. That won't happen if you leave your dad at home. Paying attention to his sons and his daughters. Yeah. Because the very first loving touch that a young girl should feel is the loving touch of a dad. Amen. 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 You will have you you would not have sons with men godly men, so like godly men. You would not have sons that turn out gay if dad is at home throwing football with his son. Amen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You would not have this foolishness in the church yeah. if fathers were in position. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit in day. After daddy and mom, after mom and the children. Yeah. Everybody's covered. Right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That's why daddy's got to go back home and apologize. That's why father's got to repent. Because for this to work, father's got to be in place. Yeah. Turn the heart of the fathers to the children, the heart of the children to the fathers. 
If we don't get this right, what happens? Curse. Yeah. Mm. Just look at the world that we live in with our children. Jesus. Just look at your yep. sons and look at your daughters. Look at your nieces and look at your nephews. Yep. These children do not love God and do not honor God. They don't. You got more children disrespecting their parents. You got more children disrespecting their grandparents. All they care about is about making quick money and gaming. Yeah, I, I know what gaming was until, until a couple of years ago. Gaming. Yeah. Like, really, you, you care more about a doggone game that distracts you from your purpose yeah. and your calling in life, and the game is not even real. Mm. It's make believe. Yeah. And it's taking you away from your family. I, I have a lady, a good friend of mine in Dallas, Texas. We've been friends for 35 years, Jewish. My wife and I've been friends for years. She called me and said, Leroy, I need your help. I said, what's up, baby? What's going on? I need to pray for my nephew. I said, okay, what's his name? And, and so on. He said, he lives in Phoenix, Arizona. And he just graduated college. Got a great job. Just got a beautiful wife. Just got married. But he's addicted to gaming. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what that was. I said, damn, I'm thinking you're shooting deep. What are you talking about? I didn't know what that was. So I had to explain to me what it was. I didn't realize grown men play games. So if, this, if you got time to play games, your vision is bigger than All right. Yeah. If you've got time to play games, you don't have a purpose. Yeah. You don't have a purpose. Wow. Because I'm only in my life, I do not have time to play games. Wow. So this young man, this young twin, tough to your guy, got a beautiful wife, beautiful career, things are working for him, yeah. but he's addicted to games. Yeah. So now she says, we got to do something about this, honey, because I can't take this anymore. They go to that pastor for counsel. Pastor gives an ultimatum. You know what he does? He quits the church, divorces his wife, and keeps his career in game. Wow. He chose. Yes. And, and I just never realized I would see a day to where games can become an addiction. I never thought I'd see a day where children in public disrespect their parents and curse them out in public and they're unashamed. Like my mom used to say, we live in a generation where folks don't even know when to be embarrassed. You, know, you just want to be embarrassed. You, know, you don't even know. You should be embarrassed. Walking in the mall with some pajamas on the bag on your head. Like that's okay. That is not okay. My question is, where your mom go? Talk to me. I never thought I'd see a day an eight-year-old in elementary school could make a decision whether he wants to be a male or a female. And the parents sign off on that foolish. Well, you're confused about your sexuality. But it's not that hard. Amen. <laughs> the world we live in. Because fathers, watch this. Fathers have walked away from their responsibility. <laughs> and the prophet is calling him fathers back to their position. Luke yeah. chapter 1, verse 16. So wives, girlfriends, sisters, it's time for you to pray for your husband. Yeah. Because we got to get them back in order, yeah. get them back in place. Yeah. Why do you think the English fight against relationships so hard? Absolutely. Why do you think the gay agenda is so 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 prevalent in our generation? Because you want the men weak. Why do you why, why do you why do you think why do you think we got so many young men want to be gay and so many girls want to be lesbian? Because he's trying to steal your legacy. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care what you say out there in America. God has said in order. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Amen. So that's right. Like, you you want to be gay? You want to be this? You have the freedom to choose your path of life. But don't fight me because I believe in God. Amen. I believe what I believe. You believe what you believe. Amen. And we don't have to fight. Amen. Watch it in Luke. The angel of the Lord is speaking to a man named Zacharias. Zach mm -hmm. Zacharias is old. He and his wife are barren. They cannot have children. But he's in the church. He's in the kingdom. So now he's in the order of going into the temple to burn incense. Now he sees an angel in, in, in the temple while he's, while he's serving in that order. Okay. The angel lets him know, you're going to have a child. But Zacharias don't believe it. <laughs> Well, I know what I'm going to do. You 
so stuck on stupid. What I'm going to do is shut your mouth. Yeah. Because death and life is in the power yeah. of what you say yeah. and what you declare yeah. and what you decree. Yeah. Because what you say will come to pass. Yeah. Yeah. Watch this. Good or bad? What you say will come to pass. Yeah. Good or bad? Yeah. Yeah. Right. You just like your dad. You ain't no dog no good. He wasn't no good. You ain't no good. And you pouring that cause into your son. Now all of a sudden, all of a sudden, because you poured that vision into your son that he's sorry like his daddy, guess what happened? He's sorry like his daddy. Because death ain't like. So Zachariah could not believe what the angel said, so the angel shut his mouth yeah. until he came to ask what the angel said. Yeah. Now why is this so important? Because we pick it up in verse 16. Why is John the Baptist so important? Because he, the prophet, because of the word that he carries. Y'all better hear me. Notice the male, see. Because of the word that he carries. He will, he will, verse 17, he will also go before him in the spirit of the power of who? Elijah. But that's what Malachi 5, 4 and 5 says. That the spirit of Elijah, he was sent the spirit of Elijah. But Elijah, the prophet, he showed up. The, the anointing of Elijah was on John the Baptist. Uh -huh. mm. So here it says that the spirit of the power of Elijah is going to be on John the Baptist. And what would that power of those words do? Turn the hearts of the fathers to their children. Why is that important? Because the kingdom of God will not work in this order. That's why Paul said, let all things, all things, those the word, all. Let all things be done what? Decently and what? In order. So what is God's order? God the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, man, woman, children. When that order is disrupted, then the kingdom of God will not flow. Right, right, right. Why do you think husbands and wives are having such, such hard times in this generation? There's constant fight. There's constant division. Because somebody in the house has to be the God. Wow. Yes, sir. And you're going to keep on fighting. Yes, sir. A house divided against itself will not stand. Watch that. No legs. No Watch this. Watch this. To turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom. That's the word of God. Wisdom of God. Of the just. And to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. So the husband has the word that he got from God and he told it to his wife and they tell it to the children. That's God's order. That's the wisdom of God. And when you give them and set them in that order, the children, then you have to be ready for their future and their calling. In other words, you set a legacy. Yeah. That's good. My mother set a legacy for my sister and I to be tired. Yes. From day one. I never forget. I, I was able to cut yours. That's a long one. Cut yours. And it's home. And I never forget. I made twenty dollars. My first honest wages of living. My first time. <laughs> $20. Yes, yes. I'm not telling all my business. Honest. <laughs> and I went home. And I was so excited. Mom, I got $20. I got $20. I, got $20. I was so excited. She said, no. She said, son, you don't have $20. <laughs> I said, yeah, I'm going to leave that right there. I'm going to do $2. She said, no, baby, God comes first. You have 18 hours. <laughs> <laughs> but she left a legacy. Yes, amen. I've been a time since I was 13 years old. From that day to the day, I've never not honored God. Never. And that's why I'm a wealthy, blessed man today, because yeah. somebody taught me at a young age how to honor God. She left a legacy. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. See, Go back, you leave something to your children. That's correct. Right. Wow. Teenage girls get pregnant before marriage. And in certain families, everybody gets pregnant and they're not married. Mm -hmm. Gotta know that's the spirit. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> It'll take a brain surgeon to figure that out. Yeah. That, that's the spirit attached to that family. Yeah. Until somebody gets back that's right. under the authority of God's word, so that the anointing starts from the head and it goes down. Then the blessing won't rest on you. There will be no legacy for you of the kingdom of God. Because we gotta honor God by obeying his word. Yeah. It's just that simple. Yeah. So now we see here.
here that he said, make ready for people to prepare for the Lord. Daniel 9 and 11. Mm -hmm. Let's look at what Daniel said. Daniel 9 and 11. Yes, all Israel has transgressed, transgressed disobeyed God, and departed from obeying the voice of God. So, so disobedience closes your ears. Mm -hmm. I say disobedience closes your ears to hear God's voice. Obedience does what? Opens your ears. Therefore, what comes next? Curse. But pastor, you can't bless that which the Lord has cursed. That is absolutely true in the new covenant. Except when you disobey God and continue to disobey God, you will experience the result of a curse. Yes. Why? Because God's way is easy. Obey God and you'll see the blessing flow. Disobey God and it blocks it up. All right? And then the Bible says, and over into the law, most of the servant God has been poured out upon us because we have sinned against him. So we bring forth the curse. Hosea 4 and 6. Hosea 4 and 6. Many of us know this scripture extremely well. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. What's that? The wisdom of God, the word of God. Why, pastor, are they destroyed? Because they have rejected the knowledge of God. They have forgotten the law of God. And what happens then? Because we reject God, God says, I will reject your children. But does God reject you? No. So let me tell you what the scripture says. It's like this. There are things already implanted in the earth land. Let me give you an example. There are laws in the land about stealing, rape, and burning, all that, right? There are laws already established. As long as you obey the laws of the land, we do it. But they don't throw away the law because you obey today. They don't shut down the prison because you obey today. What happens if you just happen to disobey? Laws are already in place. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. Curse. All right, let me give you a clear example. Adam was in the garden with his wife Eve. Everything good. Trees are producing, animals are producing. Life is great. It's a beautiful garden. Everything working. Watch this. There is no such thing as death. Then that God never once told Adam about death because death didn't exist until they sinned. Wow. And when they sinned, death what? Appeared. Yeah, but y'all follow me. Amen. What I'm saying to you is, there's a legacy yes, of, of if you choose to obey God, blessings and honor. You choose to disobey God, a curse. But you're still leaving legacy. Yes, Amen. Sir. Okay, so now watch this. He says, I will forget your children. Now watch this. Psalm 73, verse 25. God has left the legacy. Yes. Let's, go, let's go with God first. Yes. God has left the legacy. A legacy for you to live your life well. well yeah. Let me say it again. God has left a legacy yeah. for you. Uh -huh. Blessed, not cursed. Yeah. What did Jeremiah say to give you a hope and a future? Yeah. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. God wants you to live like well. Okay, Jesus said it like this. I came that you might have life and have it more, not just abundantly, more abundantly. That's what Jesus said. But watch what God says, Psalm 73, verse 25. Watch what David, this is King David. David says, who have I in heaven but you? So watch how David is going after God. Who do I have? I don't have nothing. God, you're the only thing that matters to me. That's why God said David. I love David because he's a man after my own heart. That's what God said about David. Yeah. What does God say about you? Mm. <laughs> you were not quiet right now. You're not quiet. Okay, watch this. And there is none upon the earth that I desire besides Jehovah, you Lord. My flesh and my heart fail. But God, if I say, but God, but God. But God is the strength, my rock, my stability, of my heart. And he's my what? Worship. That word is translated inheritance. Yes. Yes. Inheritance. This doesn't make the rich in Hebrew. It's inheritance. It's legacy. God has set a standard. When we obey God and submit to the standard, everything works for you. Amen. You just got to come into the knowledge of truth so you can change the trajectory of your life. You've been doing it your way and you fail. And many of us have failed miserably. Because you are where you are because of your choices. After a while, you can't keep blaming that. Daddy did this. Mama did this. They didn't do that. Okay, after a while, now I'm 52. Seriously, you're 52 and you're still saying that? 
Amen. Come on now. That father is not that is not mama. You choosing this. I behold, I said before you life and death. Choose life. Then why you grow? Why you broke? Why you sick? Why you unhappily mad? Why? Because after you think, it's about you. Because sooner or later, this, this is what I believe. I believe somewhere in your life, you have to take full responsibility for your choice. You live by your choice. Think about not the white man, not the black man, not the Hispanic man. We got to stop blaming everybody for why we where we are and take the accountability that God has left a legacy of success for me. Why am I not successful? The way of a transgressor is hard. Yes. 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 You, you, got, you got to give your life over to God. You got to give your children over to God. And you got to commit your life to God. Give your life to the Lord. So until you do that, until you make Jesus Christ Lord, you will never see the blessing. You'll never benefit from this inheritance or this legacy. So he says, for Second Timothy 4 and 6. Second Timothy 4 and 6. So God left the legacy. Let's look at the Apostle Paul. We probably told you that. The Apostle Paul leaves a legacy. And Paul, <laughs> the most anointed of all the apostles. Amen. Because, because uh, Paul never saw Jesus. Physically, he never saw him, never met him. Yeah. But he met him on the Damascus road, and a light came, because Jesus Christ is the light of the world. So a light shone from heaven, not called off his beast. And Paul got instantly say, Lord! That's what he said. Lord! He got instantly say, Who wants to stop? And then he gives Paul, Saul at the time, his name was changed to Paul, and gives him a vision of his purpose and calling. That's why men need to get back to church, get back to the anointed preachers and pastors, so you can, so we can teach you and train you who you are in Christ, so that you can know your purpose. Yeah. And your occupation is not your purpose. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. Watch what Paul says. For I am ready, already being poured out as a drink offering. In other words, Paul said, my whole life in Jesus Christ. Has been, I, I'm not going to get married. I'm not going to have a family. My life has been called to be an apostle to the churches. Mm -hmm. uh, Peter was called to the Jews, but Paul was called to the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. So he's a Greek offering, and by pouring his life into other people and to the other churches. Mm -hmm. And the time of my departure, that's his death. Mm -hmm. The time of my departure or my death is at hand. I have fought a good fight, and the historians have said Paul died at the age of 60, uh -huh. young. But he, was, he wasn't afraid to die because he finished his course. Oh, come on. Wow. Listen, Man. you don't have to be afraid of dying if you know who you are. Yeah. 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 If you're in God's purpose, Lord, Jesus. God told you to do the last thing you're afraid of is dying. Yeah. Now, thank for the believer, dying is a, is a promotion. Yes, it is. Yeah. To be happy from the body, to be present with the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. But well, what Paul says, I have finished my race, my destiny, my purpose, and my vision. Mm -hmm. I have finished it. I have kept the word. I have kept the faith. But he also says it in Romans 1 and 11. Can you turn that Romans 1 and 11? He says, for I long to see you. Yeah. Long. That I might impart unto you some spiritual gift to establish you. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a offering to you. I'm a gift to you. The purpose of my life is to pour into you. Yeah. Leave a legacy. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. A legacy of faith. Yeah. 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 You don't want to leave your children much. Right? Yeah. Only. Yeah. That's right. And leave your clear. Only. Because you need to leave something. Right? Yeah. But you don't leave fools much. Right? No. <laughs> Because no. if they're not serving your God, if they're not honoring your yes, God, right. and if you have nobody to leave your wealth to, give it to the church. Amen. Amen. All right. Do not leave wealth in the hands of a fool. Don't do it. Now, it's your job, Dad, to teach and train your sons and your daughters the ways of God, the kingdom of God. Yes. But Paul, he said, I have kept the faith. Now, let's go on to this. Proverbs 13 and 22. Because there's a legacy. Good or bad. There's a list. Yeah. But well, watch this. Are we there? Mm -hmm. A good man, not a bad. Yeah. Notice, notice, let me slow down. Notice you can say a woman. That's not true. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because it's men that transfer blessings. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Notice, not their wives. Because men are what? Hands. Yeah. See, it's a wise woman who can accept this word and submit to it because she reaps the benefits. That's why Sarah called Abraham Lord. Because she understood, so goes my Abraham, so goes me. So goes me, so goes my children. Because God said, in order. So watch what he says. A good man does what? Leaves a legacy and inheritance. For who? For his children's children. But the wealth, so he's talking about legacy of wealth. But the wealth of the sin is not up for the righteous. So what is wealth? It's in the Hebrew word, uh, Shayil. C-H-A-Y-I-L. That's the Hebrew word. It means power. power. Yeah. Riches. Power. Strength. And substance. Uh -huh. That's good. Yeah, that is good. Yeah. I'm leaving a boatload of blessings. Yeah. To those who can receive what daddy got to say. When you obey dad, when you obey mom, a blessing is coming to you. Yeah. Well, let's take it to the realm of spirit. When you obey God, come on, yeah. come on now. Come on now. When you choose to obey God, then what rest of me? The blessing. Yeah. And now I am the seed of Abraham. Amen. Amen. There's no That's way good. you can get this word. There's no way you can get this understanding and remain the same. same. No way. There's no way. no way. No way. You have to rise. Let me close with this quote. I need, I need total silence. I thought Holy Ghost told me in 8 minutes service. Watch this. Just listen to the words of this day. The new economy we are living in brings enormous benefits in terms of wealth, innovation, new chances, and choices. But our absorption in keeping up with it all is leading to the erosion of our families. Because we're chasing out the doubt, but not God. Watch this. We are in danger of losing the crucial distinction between making a living and making a life. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus said, how can that you might have life? Mm -hmm. See, when you understand what he's saying is, I have a purpose. Mm -hmm. I have a legacy that I'm extending towards you. That when you flow into this legacy, when you flow into this grace, and you flow under this anointing that Jesus has for us, then he says, my, my yoke is easy and my birds are light. Yes. Life becomes food for you. Yes, yes. But the reason why life is like a roller coaster ride for many of us, because we don't know our purpose. Mm -hmm. We don't know that we have a legacy. We don't know that we have life insurance. Mm -hmm. We don't know that we have car insurance. But we don't know. And when you don't know your rights, the world takes advantage of you. That's why the enemy is against marriage. In our generation, he does. The last thing he wants is marriage. Why? Because it represents Christ and the church. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want happy marriages. He don't want successful marriages. He don't want singles looking towards a godly man or godly woman that leads towards marriage. That's why we got folks shacking and dishonoring God. That's right. And your marriages and your relationships don't work. Why would you commit your life to a man who won't commit to you? Oh. If he's not committed to God, he will surely, he will surely not commit to you. Right. Surely he will not. Jesus. So what I'm telling you is you need men of God and start praying, ladies. Start praying for your husband. Start praying for your dad. Start praying for your future husband. Your future life. Start praying now. Start praying. Yeah. The prayers of the righteous of God. Yes. That when men come back in place, when Joseph, when Joseph was about to die, he was laying in his bed. He called his twelve sons around the bed, and he pronounced blessing, blessings on each one of his sons. Told them their future. He, he was so confident, man, God about what God was going to do, he says, y'all going to be in slavery for seven years, but then when y'all come out of slavery under the Babylonians in the future, 30 years into the future, when you come out, come back and get my bones. Yeah. Because he was so confident in his words of That's right. That's right. <laughs> he was so confident in what he saw in the future. Yeah. That when you come out, because I'm declaring the blessing over you by my word. <laughs> Word. Yes. At 
the transfer of a blessing comes from the father to the wow. son yeah. to the yeah. grandson. Yes. Because it's about legacy. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Legacy of faith. Thank you, Lord. What are you going to leave your God? Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Yes, we gonna keep having sex outside of marriage and keep producing children without a father. Come on. What kind of legacy, legacy are you gonna leave your son? We gonna keep doing drugs, alcohol, and party over here, party over there, and then die in our sins? What kind of legacy uh -huh. are you gonna leave? Because all we care about is the day right now. But don't know the Bible says that when you sow on this side of heaven, you're sowing into a kingdom in heaven. Because there's a there's, there's the common system in heaven, but yeah. it's rocker. So the Bible says when you sow your seed, you're sowing into the kingdom where moth and rust cannot affect it. A lasting. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Even when it comes to your gift. If God is clear on that part, surely he's clear on your purpose and your yes. vision. Yes. The reason why you lonely, the reason why you sad, the reason why you sit, you sit in your bed crying today, holding on to your pillow, is mm. because you don't know who you are. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a righteous indignation that comes on me as a man of God yes. to yes. tell you the truth. Stop making excuses for why you where you are and rise up to your purpose. Yes. Yes. Jesus said it like this, and I thought for this purpose. Oh, and for this call came out into the world that I might lay my life down as a rest. Yes. Christ has to be paid so I can leave these yes. yes. <clears throat> You have to make it in your mind, dog, what you want to do. You don't have to make it up in your life, son. Or you don't have to make it in your mind what you want. Because what we're doing ain't even working. Yeah, That's why we blame you. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to still crying. All these children and shit, we don't have tears of joy. We ain't going to have to try with some joy. We can find out your purpose. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Oh, that's good. Hey, man. Hallelujah. Because it can't be about the same one. Only. Because we got all the cards. We got the best we need. We got to leave Beyonce. We, we went to Bangalore and that's what Beyonce bought from me. I got the best weed in my head and you're still single. <laughs> <laughs> because you don't know who you are. And when you come into your purpose and know who you are, then you fall into a list. Yeah. And that's when the money starts flowing in quickly. The blessing of the Lord makes rich as yeah. no struggle. No yeah. yeah. struggle is what I'm saying. Yeah. The money flows and it keeps flowing. Yeah. The more yeah. comes in, the more I go out. I sow because I'm blessed to be a blessing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Transfer of what? Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hey, man, you, listen, listen to me, about those who are at home. Sooner so or later, you're going to have to come to the conclusion. You've got to make some changes. You don't miss a change. You got to start obeying God. You got to start coming back to church. You got to start putting God first. You got to let us teach you a training. Yes. Because there are a lot of false prophets out there. But pray. And that's all. Is this the one? That's what John the Baptist said. You know, you can want to shoot me look for another. Jesus, 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 you go tell John. Jesus, 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 Jesus,